Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a product manager for desktop printers at Zebra Technologies. Let me show you how quickly and conveniently you can set up your Zebra desktop printer using your handheld device. Let me show you how to quickly pair your Android or iOS device to a Zebra ZD400 or 600 series desktop. Both of these desktops have wireless and Bluetooth. If this is something that you need or want to add, we do have a wireless 80211 AC Bluetooth 4 module that can be added in the field. So the first thing you want to make sure is you download the Zebra Setup Utility app, which can be found for Android in the Google Play Store and for iOS on the Apple Store. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Zebra Android device. It's a TC70 series handheld and we're going to connect it to our ZD400 series printer. Now one thing you'll notice is our ZD400 series printer has a feature called Print Touch. It looks like this and you can tell you have it because you have this logo. It's got a handheld symbol here and a wireless symbol coming out and you can also see it on our 600 series as well. What that uses is NFC technology to initiate pairing between two Zebra devices. So we're going to we're going to go in the setup app the setup app needs to load up first. And then as soon as it loads up, we are going to initiate the connection. So we're going to go over to the device and tap it. Now it can roughly take 30 seconds to 40 seconds, depending on your connection. It may take more or less time, but right now it's looking for the printer. As soon as the printer is found, you'll notice um, and it's rather quick. The data light pulses on. And also on the screen, it will show a Bluetooth symbol and says retrieving settings. So again, this can take a little time. We are now connected. You can see the serial number of the printer and the status is ready. So what we're going to do is go into the connectivity settings. We have a choice of wireless and Bluetooth. Since I'm going through the process of getting it on the wireless network, I'm going to go wireless. We have various options here. So I'm going to pick a name. I'm going to enter my host name, something that I know and can recognize when it comes up. I'm going to call it a ZD4 since it's a 400 series and accept it. IP address. At protocol, I'm going to do DHCP. I'm going to leave power save mode off and I'm going to go next. This section on client ID, I'm going to leave it. Don't need to change anything. I'm going to go next. I will enter my ESS ID, which is my access point. I'm going to pick from a list of security features and encryption methods. I'm going to pick WPA PSK, which is what I have here. For the wireless band, I have it set for all, but you can set it for 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Uh, channel list, I'm going to leave that blank. Go next. I'm going to enter my password. And then I'm going to hit next. So now we're going to hit apply to apply all the settings. Now it's sending that information to the printer. It's saying, do I want to reset the printer? So I'm going to hit reset and you're going to watch the printer start the reset process. Now the standby light is set to amber. As soon as it comes back online and is set to go, it should become green and your network light is red and it will also become green. So you can see that I have the new printer that I brought online. It's got the new host name ZD4. It's got the IP address. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to it. I'm now connecting to the printer. We are now connected. You can see now the serial number is replaced by the host name ZD4. It shows ready. And what we're going to do is we're connected. You can see Wi-Fi and I'm going to go to here printer actions and I'm going to print a test label so that you can see it connected. We are good to go.